Richard, that piece we did a few weeks ago where you put the wrong dish soap in your dishwasher um, and we showed it all bubble up and everything. Right. <laughs> the wrong way to do it. I washed my floor. <laughs> well, you know what? Right or wrong, we got a ton of comments, letters, tweets, the whole right. thing. People love seeing that thing work from the inside. Right. It gives us good reason to go back inside and see how a typical dishwasher works and take it through a full cycle. Right. Now, this happens to be a smaller than normal. This is only 18 inches wide. Normally, they're 24 inches wide by 24 deep. There's only three connections that dishwasher needs. Hot water in discharge to a drain out and electrical. Now on the front, everybody knows these, but the, the, what really all you're selecting here is how long the cycles are. So if I choose light wash, it's going to be shorter. Sure. Heavy wash is right. really just and longer, more cycles. And less water. So obviously you're going to get more if you have pots and pans that's so going to stay longer in a scrubbing cycle. All right, so now we open it up. Can you just grab this? I'm unloading the dishwasher Thank for you. Thank you. So now, the hot water comes in right here. Now it comes in and it fills this reservoir. At the very bottom, there's actually a tub or a pan that will fill up with water. And as it fills up, this float will sense the level and it'll shut it off to, to know that we've got this filled. Mm -hmm. Now this is an electrical element. Most people think they have to turn their hot water heater up to 140, 150. They don't have to. They can leave it at 120. This heating element will actually heat up the water then it'll pull it down in through a pump at the very bottom. You've got to be sure to keep this clean down here yep. and make sure there's no food that gets in here. Now it comes out through this wash arm, and this wash arm will spin around in this bottom one. That'll wash the bottoms, but most dishwashers also have an upper one. It'll either pop up or one that comes out through the sure. back and will wash it. Okay? So now that'll work, it'll work, and what's happening is it'll work for a certain amount of time, then it'll dump. Most, a lot of people think that you've got a hot water pipe always putting water in, it doesn't. No. It takes the same water and moves it around, moves it around. Fills the it, tub, and then empties, fills it again. Yeah. refills, right. gotcha. And really it's a question of how many times it does it. Okay. So he, uh, right here you've got the uh, places where you're going to put stuff in. This is pre washed there's no door there, so right. that means when you put it in, when you close the door, it's the first, it's used on the first load. This is the regular wash. And then this is for the drying agent. You might put that in to reduce spots, maybe do it once a month. And on the regular wash, we know that this is closed at the beginning, but then That's there's right. a little timer that'll pop it That's open, right. you know, yeah. halfway through or a third of the way through the cycle. And by the way, use the right stuff, okay? <laughs> I learned that lesson. <laughs> so we're going to fire this thing up Don't and see it I work say. properly. Do I do. All right, let's put that in. There you go. This is going to be cool. All right, so let's turn it on. When you first turn it on, there's a pre-purge and that's to make sure that all the water is out from the previous cycle. So it's got to fill that basin before it'll pump it through all that's the right, different uh, right. wands. So the float just engaged and <laughs> here comes the water. Look at that. This is really cool to be inside, isn't it? Is this it's, as exciting for you as it is for me, Kevin? Uh, almost. <laughs> all right, so it looks like the pre-wash is toning down. Yep, so okay. So this is drain, yep. empty. And after that bottom tub has refilled again and they've reheated it, you'll see that main soap door open. Oh, there it goes. All right, so door is open. So after that main wash, then you'll hear it discharge. Now the water comes on again. Now it's clean water. It's going to rinse and rinse those dishes off. Some dishwashers actually do it, dump it, and then do it one more time, fill it up so it's a second rinse. After all the rinses are done, it discharges the final time, and then that lower element that sits at the bottom will come on, and that's going to act to heat up that air inside. Oftentimes, you'll hear, feel heat coming out through the front right here, mm -hmm. discharging that heat so it doesn't build up too much. And then hopefully, they come out clean and dry. Nice. Very cool.